Alright, quiet on the set. Roll cameras. Speed. Speed. Camera A2, scene 1C, take 2. Camera B3, 1C, take 2. And action. Shut up. You don't tell your sister to shut up. Yeah, you shut up. And you finish your broccoli. When you're finished here with your poppy, I want you in your room with your books studying. <laughs> but I have to go meet all of Pilot. Cut. Good. 25, 32. There's really no plot. <laughs> I'm kind of in my no plot film stage mm -hmm. right now. Um, all it is is uh, two teenage characters who kind of steal away from their everyday kind of parents and homework and and uh, meet up in an abandoned pool and kind of talk about how many kids they want and how many dogs and what they're going to name their dogs. And the last scene was Pilot's family and it's right before he sneaks out his window to meet up in the pool and it's just his mom kind of getting on to him about his grades and his sister and just annoyances and Roll cameras. Speed. 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 Camera A2, scene 1D, take 2. Camera B3, scene 1D, take 2. And action. Oh, salt. You were snooping through my room again? No, I was not snooping. It's called cleaning, Pilot. You bring that D up. Or so help me, I will take away that computer of yours. Honey, you're a smart boy. There's absolutely no reason for you to be making grades like that. God, you're such a pain. Well, pain or not, I want to see some improvement. He's such a pain. <laughs> Cut. Good. Good, good. 28, Uh, Richard? Uh, that was good. Sound, are you good? Yes. <laughs> A scene like you just saw in there is, is really simple, especially because it only has a, pretty much one lighting setup. So we mainly just talked about, or Kat and I talked about character motivation and what the character is going to be doing in the scene and maybe any blocking which wouldn't seem normal when reading the script. Um, but for the most part, we just want to make sure that we get good coverage. Mm -hmm. And so as long as everything is covered cleanly, then um, uh, there's not much to it once the lighting is set up once the mood's established. Right. The lighting just has to remain consistent for the most part. Uh, when you switch angles or you do the reverse shot or you try to have uh, the you know cameras working the opposite angles, the lighting can't be that much different and so it has to be pretty much consistent during the whole scene. So you set it for the wide shot and you can tweak it a little bit in the close-ups mm -hmm. but for the most part once it's set in the wide shot um, you just shoot. And that's what we're, I mean, you can see that's what we're doing in there. Right, right. Everyone in here will have to be below this line, please. Okay, and just tell us what. So just sort of but you're just shooting. sit on the couch or something. Yeah, yeah. I'll be shooting through here. There's no necessary beginning or end. And um, when I first started working with it, I was, uh, wasn't quite used to that. You know, stories usually start, have a bit of action and then conclusion as TV shows do and films tend, tend to do, but hers are just sort of a dip into someone else's life and then you just leave and they, they get on with it. That's very interesting. Everything I've pretty much done is sparked by uh, my own experiences, experiences with my family and friends, stories all here, just randomly. Um, I don't know, I, I'm very much into like drama and life, like just kind of capturing real life relationships but for the most part I just like everyday capturing kind of the everyday honesty right. of life let's get the boom down so we can take care of some of those sounds right now Jim you're doing the watch out behind you Jim usually during like the low budget kind of no budget stuff you want to try and do and 
I imagine even if you have money, you try and get like the little things that are going to make it sound like a realistic picture. You know, you want to get like the person in there. We're doing uh, Joy writing in her notebook, and that's one thing that's discussed a lot. You know, like put that away, eat your dinner. Anything that I notice during the regular scenes a little bit that I want to enhance or give the option to the editor to enhance, then you go ahead and go and do like wild sound of that. Well, you don't have to get her getting the salt. When she gets the salt and goes back here, she shakes them. That's what I'm talking about. I wish I could do camera sometimes because then you know, you're just looking right at it. You get your monitor, you know, and in sound you have your ears and you have like all the lights and stuff, but until you really get it in the studio, away from everything and plug it in is when you really like figure out what worked and what didn't work mm -hmm. and then you can go, oh god, I wish I would gotten that. We have to get stills of you guys. More stills. Stay still. Be still. Hey Kat, would you find it useful to have a two shot of Pilot and his mom in the same photo? I mean, that reads parent getting on your ass. Oh, are you asking to get one? Yes, if you can oh, get one of him and his mom, okay. like when they're arguing in the same frame. Sure. Mm -hmm. Should we shut that window? I love it. I love just, you know, watching, you know, someone hanging a light and someone putting makeup on an actor and watching the actors work and people putting little things around the set to make it look real. Um, I just love that moment where I'm just standing there and just kind of watching all my friends like <laughs> putting together like this story from scratch. Yeah. Just the little tiny pieces that kind of make it whole.